Hello everyone, welcome to your channel. In today's video, we are diving into the fascinating world of color selection for UI design projects. Whether you are a seasoned designer or just starting out, choosing the right colors can make or break your design. Let's get started. Understanding color theory. First, let's talk about the basic of color theory. The color wheel is a circular diagram of colors that help us understand the relationships between different hues. It's divided into primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. Primary colors are the three main colors, red, blue, and yellow. These colors can't be created by mixing other colors. Secondary colors are created by mixing two primary colors. For example, mixing red and blue gives you purple. Tertiary colors are made by mixing a primary color with a secondary color next to it on the color wheel. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel, such as blue and orange. These colors create high contrast and vibrant looks. Analogous color. Analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel, such as blue, blue-green, and green. These colors usually match well and create comfortable design. Importance of brand identity. Next, consider the brand's identity. The colors you choose should reflect the brand's personality and values. For example, blue often conveys trust and professionalism, while red can evoke excitement and passion. Alignment your color choices with the brand's identity helps in building cohesive user experience. Using color tools. There are many tools available to help you choose colors. Tools like Adobe Color, Coolers, and Figma's color palettes can be incredibly useful. These tools can generate color scheme based on your preference and ensure color harmony. Accessibility considerations. Accessibility is crucial in UI design. Ensure your color choices are accessible to all users, including those with visual impairments. The Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, or WCAG, provide standards for web accessibility. According to WCAG, you should ensure sufficient color contrast between text and its background. Tools like Stark and Contrast Checkers can help you verify that your color combinations meet WCAG guidelines. Testing and Iteration Finally, always test your color schemes. Gather feedback from user and make necessary adjustments. Use A-B testing to see which color combinations perform best in real-world scenarios. That's it for today's video. If this video was useful to you, please like it and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, let me know in the comments.